How's it going everyone? I am Countinsula and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. Okay, so the in-person Hoenn Tour event happening in Las Vegas is going to be the first massive Pokemon Go event this year. Well, Niantic finally released all of the gameplay details of the event. So is it going to be good for anyone who attends, or is Niantic missing the mark? I'm going to be talking about all of this in this video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Alright, so before I get started, let me preface by saying all of the gameplay details for the Hoenn Tour event is specifically for the in-person Las Vegas event happening at Sunset Park. We still do not know what the gameplay will be like for the global event, but I suspect it will run sort of similar to the Las Vegas event. Now, the tickets for the Las Vegas event have sold out. For anyone who is thinking about traveling for that event, unfortunately, that door is officially closed. I don't think Niantic is going to open up more tickets, but I would keep a close eye on the news tab in your game in case they decide to sell them again. We will be getting the global version of the event just a week after, so don't feel too much FOMO because a lot of the festivities of the Las Vegas event will open up to everyone really soon after. Okay, so with that said, let's talk about the new gameplay details. The Hoenn Tour event is going to have a similar format to the previous tour events. Specifically, there will be a ton of catch challenges, raid battles, and rotating habitats that will feature every single Pokemon from the Hoenn region. First and foremost, we will be able to choose between Team Ruby or Team Sapphire. Much like with the previous tour events, your experience is going to be shaped by which of these you end up choosing. Of course, in those previous tour events, whichever side you picked would only affect the Pokemon spawns. However, this time around, there will be hourly competitions between the two teams. Special field research tasks will be appearing from Pokestops at the event, and the team that completes more of these tasks will have their corresponding Primal Raid spawn more frequently during that hour. For example, if Team Ruby completes more special field research tasks, then you will see way more Primal Groudon raids during that hour. If Team Sapphire completes more tasks, then you will see more Primal Kyogre. Another thing with this team-based competition is that it will affect the spawns during those hours as well. Certain Pokemon that are themed around each of the teams will be surging depending on whichever team won that hour. If Team Ruby completes more special field research tasks over Team Sapphire, you will see an increase of Plusle, Volbeat, Trapinch, Solrock, and Sunny Cast Form in the wild. If Team Sapphire completes more tasks over Team Ruby, then you will see more Minun, Illumise, Whalmer, Lunatone, and Rainy Cast Form in the wild. Personally, I think this new format is pretty interesting, although it already seems like most of the attendees are set on Team Ruby, so I wonder if we will even get to experience any Primal Kyogre raids during the event. I could be wrong here, so if you are representing Team Sapphire, definitely say so in the comments below. But yeah, speaking of which, Primal Reversion is going to be the highlight of this event. If you're attending the Las Vegas event, be ready to do a whole lot of Primal Raids. Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre are going to be in the spotlight. I suspect most of those at the event are going to solely focus on those raid battles. Now, it is confirmed all across the internet that these Primal Raids are going to be in-person only for ticket holders. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you will be able to remote in if you don't have a ticket. Thus, you will have to wait until the global event for these Primal Pokemon if you are not attending the Las Vegas event. Next, ticket holders will have access to a Masterwork special research storyline that will lead to an encounter with Shiny Jirachi. This was actually pretty popular in previous tour events, and I'm wondering if it will lead to more Apex Shadow Legendaries like last year. It would be pretty sick if we ended up with Apex Shadow Rayquaza, but I'm actually predicting it will be Apex Shadow Latios and Latias, which would be pretty disappointing if you ask me. Still, we don't know exactly how this is going to go, so we should keep our eyes open. Finally, we got confirmation that Shiny Kecleon will be available for ticket holders during the event. It is not going to be a global release, however, so players who are not attending the Las Vegas event will have to wait for this Shiny. Fortunately, they won't have to wait too long, because Niantic did confirm that it will be available worldwide during the global event. And I don't know if this was ever mentioned before, but we will be able to get the Regis during the event through some kind of code-based activity at the park. I'm curious to see how that will go down, and I'm assuming that some in-person coordination will be required. 
So yeah, that's the gist of all of the major gameplay activities that will be happening throughout the Las Vegas event. There's also going to be the general tour gameplay like rotating habitats, special raids, eggs, costume Pikachus, etc. Basically, if you're actively playing the game all day, doing every aspect of the game, you'll be able to catch or obtain at least one of each Pokemon from the Hoenn region. And if you're lucky, you'll get some shiny versions of them. Aside from all of that, I'm actually really excited for all of the main content. It really feels like Niantic is going all out. Rather than just having the same event as last year, only having it as an in-person event, it does seem like they are putting in the effort to provide ticket holders with some unique gameplay that would be best experienced in a coordinated group setting. There is also supposedly an after-party event that will take place in the area. I'm not exactly sure how or what is going to go down, but there is likely going to be some kind of special exclusive event for attendees, much like with the special Legendary Raid Night or the London Ultra Beast Raid Night. There wasn't any official announcement regarding this, but it's just something I heard through the grapevine. Overall, I think Niantic did a phenomenal job setting up this event. Considering just how expensive this in-person event is compared to previous major events, Niantic had the expectation to provide as much unique gameplay as they could. Given everything that was announced, I really think they hit the nail on the head. Now, what does this all mean for those who cannot attend the Las Vegas event? Well, we do have the global event that will take place just one week after the Las Vegas in-person event. My concern here is that there just won't be as much content for the players who plan to play during the global event. This would obviously draw a lot of backlash, as not a lot of players are able to afford travel to Las Vegas, nor would they want to, considering there are still cases of the pandemic going around. I really think Niantic has some tough negative community sentiments ahead of them. Even in my own case, I don't know too many people who will be at the Las Vegas event, and those players have the expectation that the global event will be very similar. There is a chance that Niantic is putting everything into the in-person event, and the global event is just a hollow shell. I mean, we really don't know, because they haven't released the details for the global event, but I do suggest that you don't put your hopes up. It may end up being a major disappointment. But for ticket holders of the Las Vegas event, we have a lot to look forward to. Thankfully, Niantic went all out to justify the high ticket price. I'm certain the event is going to be a major success. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Leave your thoughts down below what you think about this announcement. Are you planning to attend the Las Vegas event? What specifically are you looking forward to? Share those thoughts in the comments and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.